Now let's save all. So hopefully if we build rebuild solution, hopefully it will succeed and it did. Let me auto hide that. Okay, so now we have our basic engine in place. Now let's go grab the resources. Alright, so this file, this folder might look a little bit different than the one you have. So don't worry too much if you see things out of place. But let's go to the resources folder and let's go to images. Now you have three choices. The original sprites which you've seen in the PDF, the source that's a year and a half old and the video. You can get the original sprites that I did. The tutorial sprites, the ones I've just finished and those will be updated with the enemy and bullet. I haven't put those in there. So you will have the choice between the player, the enemy and the bullet from the tutorial PDF and the ship here is just the drawing so you don't want to add that in there but there's also an unreleased version that I got made and these are paper sprites there's a player enemy and there's two different choices on bullets so you can choose whichever one of those I'm going to choose the player paper the enemy paper and the bullet paper 2 for these videos since we've already discussed the other way a few times all right so now let's go back to our visual studio and right click content and let's go to add new folder let's call this sprites let's go back to our windows explorer and let's drag the bullet paper to enemy paper and player paper or whichever ones you want drag those into your sprites folder okay so now that we have our basic core engine and our sprites added we need to start rebuilding expanding on the engine so let's for the last part of this tutorial we're just going to create the folder structure so let's right click the project spatial tutorial let's go to add new folder and let's call it screens Alright, right click the spatial tutorial again. And let's go to add new folder. And let's call it gameplay object. And I discussed this many times before, so we're just going to go back to the website and download the gameplay object file we need. Okay, so if we go to the main website, we have the Action Advanced Technique samples on the right side. Click that, and then we have a gameplay object we can download the zip file there so we save target as save it on your desktop and unzip it okay so once you unzip it you should see something like this and don't ask me why I have no idea why particle system is in every zip file in the later uh, links down the list I'll need to update, update that but for some reason the particle system zip file has been added to every single zip file that I have on the bottom half or bottom quarter of the links up there but at any rate let's look at the folder and let's just drag the gameplay object.cs file inside the gameplay object folder in our solution and again let's take the namespace from our game screen and let's change it to the change the namespace and gameplay object to the right namespace and let's save all. So this is our basic game engine. Everything should be working properly. Let's build. Build solution. And it succeeded. So next tutorial we need to build upon this. We need to build our gameplay objects, our bullet, our player, our enemy, our ship class, our everything. We need to build our play screen we need to actually implement our menu system and we'll go from there so next few tutorials we'll just focus on the gameplay object we need to build a gameplay object and then go and then build into the menu system then the play screen and then any modifications we need so i hope to see you next time